Many computer systems around the world are running again after they were frozen in a massive cyber extortion attack. Tens of thousands of computers in about 100 countries were affected. Experts say the so-called ransomware is no longer spreading. Jonathan Vigliotti has the latest from London. The massive hack crippled computer systems around the world, from Taiwan to Turkey. Spain's telephone system was among the first targeted. Russia's largest mobile phone company was hit. American-based FedEx announced they were also infected. In the UK, the virtual attack sent the National Health Service into emergency mode. Ambulances and patients were turned away from hospitals across the country. They said, I'm really sorry, but the computer system is down. Um, you're going to have to go away. We can't have any appointments. It would be dangerous to do so because you can't access any of the files. Hackers encrypted those files, rendering them unreadable. To decode them, they demanded $300 in ransom. The amount would double after three days. If ignored, they warned the data would be destroyed. The hack appeared to exploit a vulnerability in Microsoft Windows, first identified by the U.S. National Security Agency and later leaked in a series of stolen documents. British politicians immediately fired back, including Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn. What we've now got is a bunch of 21st century highway robbers that have got hacked into our NHS and basically offering protection money to get the information back in order to treat cancer patients or anybody else. It's unbelievably disgusting. Hackers tricked victims into opening corrupt links in emails disguised as invoices and security warnings. It's a primitive technique that cyber experts say can be guarded against by regularly backing up data and updating software. Here in the UK, government officials say computer systems are almost fully back up and running. It's still unclear who's behind the attack, but Rena, analysts say the hack appears to be the work of cyber criminals and not state-sponsored. Thank you, John.